The TP4056 is a very popular charging module. In this video, I will show you how to modify this module so you can adjust the current and shut off voltage. The TP4056 has a pin called CE input, which stands for Chip Enabled Input. This pin acts as a switch controlling the charger. Pulling this pin to high will enable the charger. Pulling it to low will disable the charger. The CE pin can be driven by logic level voltages such as 3.3 up to 5 volts. The CE pin on the TP4056 is pin 8. In the schematic, we can see the CE pin is connected directly to VCC. I created a simple binary op-amp circuit in Circuit Simulator. Using a set positive reference, the output will be pulled high until the inverting input is higher than the voltage reference. On the output, I used a low pass filter consisting of a 1k ohm resistor and a 100 microfarad capacitor. The voltage reference sets the cutoff voltage of the charger. I copied the schematic to paper and gathered the parts needed. You can find the parts list in the description as well as the schematic and the entire script for this video. I cleaned the board well with isopropyl alcohol to ensure good solder joints. The resistor area was damaged in the process of desoldering, so I had to solder directly to pin 2. Instead of using a resistor, I used a potentiometer set at 2K resistance. I then cut the trace that pulled the CE pin to VCC and then placed a jumper wire to the PCB. I cut the trace of the V plus on the micro USB, ran a jumper wire to the PCB and then placed a diode to help stabilize the voltage supply of the LM358. The difference in supply voltage of the outbound compared to the TP4056 VCC will be equal to that of the voltage drop across the diode used. I set the voltage reference to approximately 2 volts and then started charging an 18650 cell. Several moments later, the charging stopped as planned. For future use, I will set the voltage reference so that it will shut off at approximately 4.15 volts. Typically, the TP4056 shuts off at around 4.2 volts. A few of my cells have reached voltages of up to 4.23 volts and was still charging. I made these modifications because I thought the cells would be damaged. When 18650 cells are charged over 4.2 volts, the life cycle of the battery is drastically reduced. Not only can it damage the battery, but charging lithium ion batteries over 4.2 volts can cause them to fail and possibly even explode. I hope you guys try this out and leave in the comments your thoughts about the TP4056 charging module. Is it safe? Does it damage batteries? Leave in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.